I encourage you to practice. Uh, you practice, get your clients to practice, get them to write cards, get them to imagine their future, and stay in balance. Uh, the balance I recommend is a third of your time and energy imagining creating the future, a third of your time celebrating and learning from the past, and a third of your time being completely in the moment, enjoying right this minute. Now, for some of you, you don't want to spend that much time in the future or the past. No problem. Figure that out. But more time creating the life of your dreams, imagining it, and then manifesting it. That's what I'm recommending. Okay, that's a great resolution. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> yeah. So let me tell you a little bit about where I think that why is useful. And that is when it's asked to generate more cards. And it can be. When why is synonymous with what do you want from that? Or, when why is synonymous with, what's the purpose of that? Why, when it's synonymous with, what will that give you? Then it'll generate more cards. For example, why do you want a car? Oh, because I want to be able to go out and socialize more with my friends. OK, we'll write that down. In other words, you want more freedom to socialize with your friends. Yeah. Why do you want a car? Well. Because I want to work, and, and I don't want to burden you with getting back and forth from work. Oh, so you want to be able to get back and forth from work. Great. Why do you want a car? Well, I want a car because um, you know, I'll, I'll, really, I'll feel cool. I'll feel more like popular if I have a car. OK, so your, one of your goals is to feel more popular and cool. Yeah. Why do you want a car? Well, um, frankly, so I can have some time private away from home. Private time away from home. OK, well, good. Private time away from home. Why do you want a car? So see, what Y is doing there is generating more desires. Now, we've got more desires that we can go back and ask how. Oh, so one of the things you want is to be able to get back and forth from work. Well, how could you do that? Of course, one how is a car. Is there any other ways you could do that? And you generate lots of other ways to get to the same end result. And you got to the end result with the question, why? What's another end result? Well, I want to feel cool and popular. OK, good. Now, a car would help with that, for sure. But it's only one path to cool and popular. How else could you get cool and popular? Oh, I know. I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. Oh, all right. So the why gets us um, to the upper level of desire. In other words, what desire are we trying to fulfill by this desire? Let me use a different example. Most people, when I ask them what they want, they'll say, more money. I say, fine. Good, more money. How much more? Well, I want to be independently wealthy. Good, independently wealthy. How much? Well, I want to have, you know, I don't want to work. I want to have enough so I don't have to work. OK, good, enough so you don't have to work. How much is that? See, we're trying to get specific, right? So eventually, they come up with this amount. And we get it all detailed down. And then I say, OK, now. Why do you want to not work? Oh, boy, does that generate? You say, well, I don't want to work because I want to hang, spend my day with people I love. OK, why else don't you want to work? Well, I don't like my boss, and I want to get away from him. Good, get away from boss. So we get a bunch more. But now we can come back to spend my day with people I love and get away from my boss, and we can generate hows. And there's all kinds of ways to get away from that boss and with people you love all day without becoming independently wealthy. <laughs>